Hey everyone, how's it going? Mark here with Santino Sunday Cigar View, Santino Cigars and Cocktails. This week on Just a Tip, we're going to come at you with what I thought was basic knowledge, but it may not be. We're going to talk about how you ash a cigar and how you put a cigar out. What to do and what not to do. <laughs> Alright guys, so when it comes to cigars, it's, I, you know, I... I joked a little bit about the general knowledge. Some people don't know this if you're getting into cigars, things like that. So a cigar, of course, is made of nothing but tobacco. So when you light it and as it burns, if you don't draw on the cigar from time to time, it will go out. So if you're ever putting a cigar out, all cigar ashtrays, doesn't matter what kind, will have these stogie sitters. That's why they call them. They're little uh, baby chairs for your cigars. Anytime you want the cigar to go out, simply set it down walk away you're done your tobacconist your stewards wherever you're at whatever store you're in will understand that once that cigar is out goes into the ashtray the ashtray is then dumped wiped out and cleaned now what i don't want to see anyone do and i'm going i'm going to do it for instructional purposes don't ever take the cigar put it against the plastic or glass and roll the ash off what you're going to do is you can kind of see here how the wrapper has been pushed in towards the binder What's gonna happen now is when I relight this or if I just keep drawing, it's going to start canoeing down this side because the wrapper has been pushed in. You create a space between the wrapper and the binder. It does not allow the combustion to work as well. The second thing I don't ever want to see, or if someone does it, is you don't put this out like a cigarette. Cigarette, Dave, if you wouldn't mind. Do not ever do that. The misconception there, one, if you intend on relighting that cigar, you have just pushed all the burnt ash into the cigar and all you're going to taste is that burnt tobacco. Second, if you mush that down that way and then you leave the cigar and it's laying in the ashtray, it, you can see here the cigar is not smoking anymore, right? But I can tell you right now it is incredibly hot right here. If the tobacconist, the steward, whoever's working in the store picks this up and drops this into a trash can, you there have your fire hazard, okay? Anytime you want to ash a cigar, the ash will fall off when it's ready. If you ever see it start to break, don't be afraid to set it and just give it a simple love tap like that. If the ash falls off, the ash is gone. If it doesn't, keep smoking and hope it doesn't burn a hole in your shirt. <laughs> you know, a little fun. The tip is, remember, whenever the cigar is going out and you're done, set it down, let it burn out, it'll take care of itself. Don't ever mush this thing like a cigarette and don't ever grind the ash against the ashtray or do that. That's this week's Just a Tip.